Hello everybody, for this video I'm going to be showing you how to paint these four fish in a very loose style in watercolour and it won't take you too long at all. I've done the sketch, uh, each of them probably took a few minutes to do. So I'm going over now with a bit of gamboge yellow for the top fish and just trying to keep it fairly light. You know, referring back to that reference picture every now and then it doesn't have to be exact but just make sure you keep the, the colors and the general outline of the fish quite similar notice as you get down to the bottom of the fish it starts to cool down a bit you get this uh, bluish gray color at the bottom so make sure that you transition the orange down to a little bit of that gray so that it is slightly darker at the bottom With the fins and the tail, make sure that you're going very light at this stage and you, you know, just adding in a little bit of detail there. But most of it, believe it or not, is going to be added in when you put the background. That's the most exciting part. Now this first layer has dried off and I've really used quite light layers there. And I'm using a detail brush here. This is a size 6 round brush and just using the tip of the brush I'm indicating some scales in a darker yellow slash orange and as you get closer to the tail area of the fish the, the scales become a little bit smaller and also make sure you get in some of those details on the fins so just some directional lines and vertical lines on the top of the fish just indicating some of the directions of those fins and I'm doing my most favorite part now um, with, with the painting, so I'm just adding in a mixture of blue, it's a cobalt blue that I'm using here. And I'm mixing a bit of grey into it as well, just cutting around the fish. And I'm also softening the edges of where the fins meet the water. And that's just going to create a feathery light effect. I don't want it to be too harsh and standing out against the background. varying the mix of the paint every time I head back into the palette as well. Just trying to shape this fin a, a little bit more. Adding in some details now for the eye and the mouth, some of the fins in the tail, just some directional lines running horizontally. doesn't really take much detail to indicate something like this and same as with the other the fin on top I'm just lifting out softening some of those edges on the tail fins as well and the bottom fin and from here on all I'm doing is just adding in a bit more detail to the body so how I'm doing that is I'm just picking up some slightly darker yellow slash orange paint and just dabbing it to create some scale like effects and moving on to this other one beneath now just in the middle of the page and um, really just getting in some of the basic colors here um, I'm keeping the head at orange golden color and with the back end of its body I'm just blending that into a grayish mix and with the fins I'm really using a, a very light um, warm yellow color uh, it's almost like an orangey color still and that's all that's about all the detail you need at this stage and moving on to this other fish on the right and adding in just basically going through adding in the orange first and dropping in the darker colors to help just encourage them to mix together and remember you don't need to follow the reference picture exactly as you go you can change you know change the colors or just experiment especially if you're sketching it's really important to just try things that you haven't done before 
and you might find that you come up with a technique or a color combination that you that you like um, this isn't the subject that I normally paint but you know it's something I'm really trying to do a lot more these days just trying different subjects and and seeing how I go with them and just doing the background now and, and I'm using negative painting with all of these four fish um, sketches uh, meaning so I'm just cutting around the fish and adding in a darker background and the one at the bottom I'm using a mixture of cobalt blue and a bit of peacock blue just giving it a basic undercoat of this color and while the wash is still wet I'm removing color with the dry paintbrush and I'm also adding in some darker colors in there to indicate the shadows and darker areas on the body so just refer back to the reference picture and use it mainly as a form of telling you where the light source is, is coming from and it looks like in the in this one it's coming from above and notice with the background that I've used, the background colors is mostly bluish tones. And the reason for that is because the fish are, for the most part, orange. So using a complementary color is really going to help um, give that vibrancy to your watercolors as well. But end of the day, if you add in a darker background, it's going to work quite effectively when you're using negative painting. And I'm now using a greenish color greenish and grey colour and I'm just cutting around this bottom fish now and just adding in more details to the body now the last step I'm doing here is just finishing off the painting by adding in a bit more detail to areas of the fish to indicate that, you know their eyes uh, underneath the body and you know, I'm just going back to the reference picture at this point and looking at, okay, have I indicated some areas are lighter or darker enough or do I need to emphasize certain areas a little bit more? And I just felt, especially with the top one, I needed a bit more detail underneath the body. And that's probably the one that I'm happiest with, as well as the, the bottom one. I think the middle one's turned out okay. But at the end of the day, that's the fun part of sketching and... I'm not trying to come up with a finished work of art at this stage. This is just practice and you know you need to have a chance to be able to practice all these different techniques and painting different subjects rather than jumping into it straight away. You're going to find yourself a lot more confident and you're going to find it a lot easier if you do a few practice sketches. I think um, it can be easier to fall into that trap of thinking you, you know every bit of work that you complete has to look fantastic and technically great everything like that but you know ironically enough when you do these sort of sketches sometimes because you're under less pressure you come up with some really good stuff and you don't need to have a dedicated sketchbook i've got a few that i've linked in the description but you know if you have some bits of scrap paper for instance just draw some squares on there and turn it into six different paintings one of the things I love about watercolors and why I got into it in the first place is just how quick you can work, how spontaneous you can be. So don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just get out there and start doing a few sketches. You end up coming up with some great artwork and improving your skills along the way.